Hey man, say man, it's Wild360 News, and right now, the verdict just came in on Tory Lanez. He was sentenced to 10 years for his role in the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion that fateful night in Hollywood Hills. Now, this was day two of the proceedings. Yesterday, both sides got to argue their points. Of course, Tory Lane's defense team argued for a lighter sentence, probation even, and the prosecutors argued for 13 years. And I think three or four years on probation supervised release. But the comments most people were talking about from yesterday did not come from the attorneys came from Megan Thee Stallion herself. Well, she wasn't there present, but she sent a statement. And in this statement, it said she hasn't had a day of peace since the day Tory shot her. She said he doesn't deserve leniency. Leniency is for people who have some type of remorse. He shows no remorse. He has made my life a living hell since the incident. He doesn't deserve. I think he should be hit with the max. Yo, I'm not gonna even lie. That kind of caught me off guard. Everybody know Tory gonna get some level of time, but for her to just come in and just, you know, go for the juggler like that, that was really savage and cutthroat. I didn't expect it. But hey, she really acting like a woman who was scoring, and we all know the saying. Now, fast forward back to today. Witnesses in the courtroom say Tory really was articulate and did a good job when he was speaking for himself. Onlookers say he probably would have got 13 years if it wasn't for how well he spoke up for himself and some of the support he had from other people. In the end, the judge said he considered what was being said from both sides, both the prosecution and the defense. But he did make a point to tell Tory's team, the fact that you're a single father, a black father, and do a lot of good for your family and the community has nothing to do with the law. I'm going to judge this case according to the law. And that's what he did. He gave Tory Lanez a 10 year sentence and it was aggravated, meaning that he has to serve 85% of his time. Now he will get the time served that he did in the county jail and any programming he does will knock time off as well. But yo, man, this is a crazy situation. What did y'all think? Um, I'm sure nobody thought he was going to get probation, but did you think he was going to get 10 years? Did you think he was going to get the 13? Do y'all think Megan went too hard, or is this how you should react when someone shoots you? Y'all let me know, man. Drop a comment. Wow, 360 News, we out of here. Peace.